cape And here we are at Petco Park, San Diego, California, Padres and Dodgers, both these teams dead even at the top of the NL West. Dodgers have fought back lately and the winner of this series could win the division. Second inning action, 1-0 Padres, Alcides Escobar up to the plate, he lines one to right and Puig misses it. The ball rolls to the wall and Escobar, after it's all said and done, ends up at third with a two-run triple and that makes it 3-0 Padres. Later that inning, Will Middlebrooks up to the plate with the bases loaded. What does he do? He takes ball four, brings in a run with the walk, and it is now 5-0 Padres. Fifth inning now, Juan Uribe up to bat, trying to knock in the first run for the Dodgers. Syndergaard pitches. See ya. That's gone. First run of the day for the Dodgers. That's a homer to left, and Justin Upton can only look as the ball lands in the left field bleachers. Now, top of the eighth, Padres up 7-3, Sean Kelly in relief, in a bit of a jam, so what does he do? He strikes out not one, but two LA Dodgers getting Puig the second time, and he gets himself out of trouble with the ground out here to first. So it's still 7-3, top of the ninth, Padres bringing in Craig Kimbrell to close things out, just as he usually does as he comes in, 1-2 pitch, strike out. Gets Uribe, 2-2 pitch, strikeout, gets Pinto, and your final score here from Petco Park, 7-3. Padres take game one of this four-game set as Crawford for the Dodgers had two hits and two RBIs. Padres with Escobar getting three hits, two triples, a double, and two runs. For the Dodgers, it was the most runs they've given up this season. And for the Padres, all seven of their runs were scored in the first two innings, six of them in inning number two. That is it from Fidelity Gaming TV. I hope you guys enjoyed this new highlight type of video. I will see you guys tomorrow with some Challenge Wednesday. Other than that, check out the channel. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, peace.